stories to choose from. Uh, do you have one in mind? I can't choose. Do you have a favorite? Hmm. Well, there used to be a favorite of mine when I was a child. It's called The Littlest Angels. Tell me that one. Okay. <coughs> well, this story begins with the news that the birth of Christ is coming soon. And everyone in the kingdom of heaven is getting ready for the big event. The trumpeters are polishing their trumpets. The harpists are tuning their harps. The choir is practicing songs. And everyone is making and wrapping presents for the newborn Christ. The littlest angels were a little bewildered at the festive events. These angels were just learning to fly. And sometimes they forget to clap their wings and fall head over halo. And as they neared the small town of Bethlehem, 
The children began to wonder what presents they could bring to the newborn Christ. The wise men were bringing riches, but the little ones didn't have presents and didn't know what they could share. When they approached the newborn baby, some of the little children remembered a song, and others thought they could play their drums.
season. But, but please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. From his heart to his shoe, he stood on Christmas Eve, painting the moves. For he knew every move that we feel well beneath, was busy with gifts and hanging Christmas Eve wreaths. For hanging stockings! Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. I must find a way to keep Christmas from coming. I know just what to do. He jumped in his sleigh and down to view where he flew. Then he slithered and slung with a smile most unpleasant. He danced all around and stole every present. After he grabbed all of Christmas, he heard a small coo. When he turned around, he saw a small who. He could see it was little Cindy Lou, who, a little, small little top by much more than two. She stared at the grin and looked all befuddled. Huh? Why are you stealing Christmas? She asked in a voice that seemed quite puzzled. But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick? He thought of a lie and he found it up quick. These presents won't do, they're not what they are. Gifts for the king should always be bought. These gifts that you made can deep in your heart, they aren't dancing off, they won't fit the part. I'm taking them back, Dad, since so Barbara. You'll see when I return, it'll be a wonderful marvel. It was quarter past dawn when he packed up the sleigh. All the hoos still as still as hoos, all the hoos still bad. Hoo hoo to the hoos, he was graciously humming. They're just waking up. I know Christmas is coming. So he paused in the bridge, put a hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound raising out of the snow. It started quite low and then started to grow. Mm -hmm.
in those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius of the governor of Syrah and all went to be enrolled, each of his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judah, and the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was one of because he was a, was of the house of lineage of David. To be enrolled with Mary, his Bethro, who was a child, and while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And suddenly there was an angel of the multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying,
give him one more round of applause as he is.